2022 spring bear trip underway. Just left the farm, headed to Jay's house to pick him up. It is 5.42 in the morning. We leave in Ohio, hopefully making it to Sioux City tonight. It's about a 14, 13 hour drive. Get some hours in today. Hopefully get to Montana tomorrow, and then we'll start hunting on, that'll be Monday. Today's Saturday, we'll start hunting on Monday. Let's get this thing done. All right, we got all packed up. Jay's closing up his house. Truck's loaded down, it's got some weight for sure. A little walk around. Max tracks up top in case we need those. All our stuff, foods back here. Cockpit, nothing good up there. The back loaded down as about as much as you can get. Coolers, food for two days, two guns, all our camping stuff. Total lining. Straight rip. Squatting a little bit, I'd say. Next stop, Sioux City. There yeah, we're making progress. Grundy County, Iowa. Foreign country as you can see. But we're making progress. We've probably put in, I don't know, eight to ten hours already. Got another three or four hours before we stop somewhere in South Dakota tonight. Making progress along the way. Yeah, it's got the same sign, so it's the same. This is Iowa the past four hours. Farmland, farmland, and more farmland. Allegedly there's big deer hiding there somewhere. <laughs> I can attest there is. All right, a little update. Here we are in uh, windy South Dakota. I don't know what town we're in, but we're 12, 14 hours in for the day. We're an hour from where we're stopping. Making progress, weather's still nice. It is windy as heck here though. That's our fourth fuel stop of the day. Fuel prices are getting a little better. Chicago, they were almost $5 a gallon. We're at $4 here. Not much else to report. Truck's working good, no problems, knock on wood. Get some food, go to bed, and uh, we'll be in the mountains tomorrow, so nothing exciting yet. Stay tuned. All right, update time. We're still driving. We were gonna stop two hours ago, but every hotel in this entire area is booked because apparently there was a giant storm here a few days ago. Everyone's without power, so they must be staying in hotels. So we're just filling up again. We're gonna keep driving until we get out of the storm zone. That kind of sucks. update time we're off the highway we're in the mountains There's snow but less snow than uh, was forecasted the maps are showing this having 20 inches of snow right here and it's just barely not even covering the road and this is our north side face so we're looking up things are looking up 
right, update from the road. Day three, morning. First two days of traveling, we went into the mountains a little bit far, far south of here. They're very snowy, so we're trying to place far north. So we're gonna be first time uh, hunting, hopefully, glassing. But we're optimistic. Weather's nice, rained last night, but the forecast looks pretty good for the next week or so. Obviously things can change in the mountains. But stay tuned. We're going to be hunting today, hopefully. up in the tree. about now? Eh, he's still facing me. If he turns, I'm taking it. Ready? What the fuck? Well, we got a dry fire practice. mad dash ended up not finding a flat spot to shoot so we kind of shot up on the side of this hill crappy spot 435 had my hold my first shot didn't go off no clue why second shot felt good too just looked at the phone scope I hit him not quite sure where and he took off fast down that hill really fast We'll let you know. Well, here's the situation. Found out I hit the bear. We're making a plan to get across the ravine and across the creek to go look for it, but we're gonna give it a few hours. In the meantime, we're gonna check out the video on the computer. You know, Jay doesn't like the videos and he already said fuck the camera once and threw it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how many more times that happens. But we're gonna try to get this video on the computer and get a better look at it. That is incredible footage, man. That's right, he takes a step. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he stayed in the view of the camera because he was sitting there for eight minutes without him walking out of it. Oh, it's perfect. It's got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's gotta be perfect. It's oh. perfect, man. You can see the fucking bullet. Oh. 
I don't see why it wouldn't be perfect. I don't see why it wouldn't be perfect. Oh, what a shot, bro. What a fucking oh, shot. We're in, what we say, 435? 430. 430. All right, as they say, we're armed for bear. Getting ready. It's been two hours since the shot, roughly. So we're going to go down and see if we can find him. What do you need? Nothing. I was looking for that. This is some rough-ass country, but I think we found a way down to the bear. If you look, shot up over there. There's a little piece of orange. I don't know if you can see it. Bear was down here. We're going to try to make our way down. It's steep, but it doesn't look like it's that far. We just have to see what that creek looks like down there. All right, I'm making my way down to this bear. You hear the river below me. I kind of got my eyes on it. It's gonna be tough to cross, but I'm pretty sure I see my bear. Not 100%, kind of far away, under a tree. Pretty sure that's him. I gotta find a place to cross this river. And that's it. Stay tuned. Oh boy, we got to him. Pretty sure he's dead, but I'm gonna have my pistol out. Just in case. There he is. He's dead. Yes, Jay's up there yelling on the hill. There he is. He's in a spot, let me tell you. Holy shit, is he in a spot. I don't, I don't want him to roll down the hill anymore. I don't know. I don't know what a big bear is or a little bear is, but it's a bear, so I'll take it. All right, guys. Here I am. Here's the bear. Looks like it's a younger boar. It was a heck of a time getting over here. He's kind of a, a smaller bear for sure, but I am so pumped. 430 yard shot from that opposite ridge. Heck of a time coming over here, but I think I'll have no problem getting him out of here. Jay's across the way. I'm probably going to tell him to stop because this is just brutal country. But I'll show you some video. I'm going to get him broken down and packed out. I am so pumped. Oh, I'm so pumped. So died while I was taking time lapse but got the bear all packed up in my pack now I gotta walk over to Jay way over there but it's time to go uh, it is 3 30 so we got plenty of time I think I got him buttoned up in about 45 minutes just a smaller boar but first western bear first ever time seeing a bear while bear hunting and we got it done in the first 30 minutes so we got 11 more days of hunting to get Jay a bear. Hopefully get a big one, maybe a color face, but stay tuned. This has been awesome so far. All right, we got the bear split up. Thankfully it wasn't that big, so it's not that heavy, but we have a heck of a pack out of here. I don't know how many feet it is, but it's pretty much straight up to the truck. <laughs> 32 belly option on two on two. Yeah going straight up but that was just gnarly way gnarlier than I thought it was gonna be thank god there was an elk trail to cross this creek river thing down here that other side was no joke I think the next shot we take we're gonna have to think about it a little harder but see you at the top oh. sitting on that fucking hill going dude I'm a piece of shit I should go down there and then I kept saying, not as an excuse, but 
Look at that view. All right, update time. We got my bear packed out. It's pretty savage. Very savage, actually. <laughs> <laughs> fun, fun. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, we're trying to figure out what our next move is. We want to get to an area of similar terrain, but more accessible if we take a shot kind of got lucky with a series of good things that happened on that to let us recover that bear because we were doubtful for a minute so that's where we're at right now we're gonna look for a new place possibly camp out here nearby and that's it moving on going for bear number two so what is this day four yeah, right? Since we left? Uh, two, three, yeah, four. So morning and day four. Got my bear all taken care of. Found a place to freeze the hide, take care of the meat. So we have 10 more days of hunting. To get Mr. J a bear, which maybe we'll get one uh, this afternoon. We'll see. We're Feel make, confident. We're gonna make our way back to the mountain, find a place to hike into and shoot some more bears. Stay tuned. All right, we are setting off from the truck for our first little bit of backcountry type hunting. We're packed in for a day or two, we're gonna go check out this burn. Things haven't gone exactly according to plan today, but I think they're looking up. So, head away from the truck for a day or two. Stay tuned. Was me. The shit's fresh. Wah, wah, wah. You strike out, and again, it's been the day of strikeouts. But we're gonna regroup. This area is just impossible to go ahead. A little bit different than what we thought with the burns and the clearings. We're gonna take this mile, mile and a half trek back to the front. Go from there. Day two, about to be in the books of hunting. All right, here we go again. It is day three of hunting. Got my bear on day one. Yesterday, ran into all sorts of access issues, glassing issues, no actual hunting yesterday. Today, we found a nice spot to hike into. We were gonna drive, but unfortunately, the road is closed. We've been running into a lot of that. So we're gonna hike in about two miles. Hopefully, have some luck. We have a couple glassing spots picked out. Should be good. has begun we are hunkering down from <laughs> the rain on the side of a mountain so we're about what uh 5500 feet up 5000 yep between 5 and 5500 i think which is where the bears have been we found a good place to glass really good place the work paid off um it was a hell of a truck to get back in here but uh, now we got a wicked rainstorm on the way so we're hunkering down to get through that yeah all right 
this day is coming to an end. It's freezing, it's windy, we're on top of the world. Saw a sound, one cub, really far away so far this evening. It's a bit slow, it is cold. Get some coffee. My sleeping pad got stabbed by my tripod last night <laughs> and the patch didn't work, so I slept on the ground all night and it was cold. I'll show you outside in a minute, but it snowed a half inch, maybe. We'll look to see. We're gonna have some coffee and think about our life decisions and go from there. Nice dusting of snow. There's a tent on the hill. There's the snow. There's the mountain. Let me go see if there's any bears over there. Let's see any. There she goes. All right, so a little bit of an update from yesterday. Um, we debated on whether I wanted this to be told in the story or not, but uh, I'd be hypocritical if it wasn't because I judge those uh, online videos just as much as anybody um, saying that they don't tell the whole story. Well, we'll tell the whole story. Um, it's nothing too crazy, just that I missed. So, um, I am not afraid to admit I got a little bit of bear fever. Um, it was a great quartering away shot s sitting still. Um, you'll be able to see it in the video. We did get it on video and that's how we confirmed it was a clean miss. Um, ranged it at 360 and I did not hold over appropriately. So um, that's the bad news. The good news is we have come up with a pretty good e-scouting, um, what do you want to call it? Method. Method, yeah. Uh, we have a couple ch check marks and benchmarks that we go. If it goes from one to another, to another, to another, and if it checks all those, that's where we go next. And uh, so far, we're two for two, two bears, two shots. So that's the positive news. And we still got what? nine days yeah still got so, quite a while um the odds are in our favor for sure that's the positive we're going to end with the positive and uh carry on Here's our update. It's cold as balls. It's windy. It's snowing. Boar hunting. Saw a little yogi when we first got here. Probably a 40, 50 pound bear at most. Looked just like a lone cub. But we're optimistic. This wind is a real pain in the ass. 
but we're hunting. Weather's supposed to get better in the next couple days, so stay tuned. the truck to a, another glassing point we have marked and see if we can get in a better position from there. It'll about cut the distance in half. It's about 1,500 yards now, so hopefully we can make it happen. Looks like a good bear, too. thousand yards in, what, 10 minutes? 15. Well, we cut the distance on that bear. We got to about 500. But of course, as soon as we were setting up, finding a good place to shoot, snow started. Bear disappeared and must have bed down. So we're gonna get camp squared away while the snow is coming down and come back here for the evening. We can glass this whole hillside and shoot a lot of this hillside. So this is a real good place to sit. It's a little bit miserable right now. Yeah. Well, this is what we're dealing with. It snowed. Probably two inches. Hopefully it starts melting soon. But we got camp set, we got a stove rolling. We're gonna be up here for the next few days. Hopefully the bears are still up here too. just I wouldn't say we passed but we're passing an opportunity to ever try to go to chase this bear because he's just so small pretty sure it's the same one we saw yesterday just a little he's got to be a little tiny guy and from our bear judgment skills how limited they are we're not gonna go after him but the conditions are about perfect right now so hopefully they stay this way for a little while and this bigger bear comes back up that we lost earlier so stay tuned. Well, if you couldn't guess why we're giving up on glasses for the evening, I'm pretty sure it's about seven o'clock and it's snowing like crazy. Can't even see the crust. So it's time to pack it up tonight. Around. What in the fuck, dude? 
I'd get a, get, try to get in a position where I'll be power at him. He's on a mission. Five thirty five. What? Five thirty five. It's not stopping you. I know. Want me to holler at him? Get into some stuff. Oh, we almost got to that bear. It is. What? 2.22. But he just wouldn't stop. Gave us a no shot. The closest we could get was 540 yards. He was on the move the whole time. There was just no shot. That was a big bear. It's the middle of the day. It's the third bear we've seen today, so things are looking pretty good. Just hopefully the next one will stop. But that was a big bear. Well, the sun's going down on our Sixth day of the hunt. It's a pretty good day today. We saw one nice bear off the rip. We weren't able to get any video of him because he kind of went right over the hill. We saw our little buddy Rocky. That's that little cub. Got a lot of video of him so far. He is tiny. Actually had a pretty cool interaction with him and a cow elk that we've been watching all day. They got about 20 yards apart and just stared at each other. But we also saw what looked like a big bear. He was moving so fast, we just couldn't get a shot opportunity at him. We got to about 500 yards, but with what he was moving, there was just no way to get a shot, but he looked big. Got quite a bit of video of him, so you'll see that. But staying another night on the mountain, weather's better today. We woke up with a lot of snow, but it, it kind of warmed up into the 50s today, so stay tuned for more. This has been awesome. Day seven, Sunday, tomorrow. Set up for a shot. So, 
that means a bear's gonna come out. 100%. We've been sitting here all day. We finally saw a bear, not including Little Rocky. Right now he's pretty far. He's at this peak, he's 580 yards, so we just need him to feed down in front of us. Looks like he's under a bush right now. Yep. Looks like the same pair we saw yesterday. Definitely a big one. That bear was big. We just watched the video again. He's as big as we can imagine a black bear looks out of here in the mountains. This close. Oof. Adrenaline dump. Yeah. I need a nap. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're packing up for the day. We have been out here for a long time. I think it's about 15, almost 16 hours of glassing for all two bears, Rocky and that big bear. Ran into some issues with some other hunters on the other side of the way this evening, but so that probably kept us from seeing anything, but definitely an exciting day. We're gonna hike back to camp. This has been the story of the day. Wind, rain blowing in. We haven't really got it too bad, but this one looks a little worse. And it's coming down. We've only been sitting out here for 12 hours and only seeing Little Rocky. We're gonna sit out here some more in the rain. Hopefully it pays off. done hunting for the day. We haven't really shown you camp much because we've only been here in the dark, but it's sort of light out. Not really. Just getting ready for some dinner. Peak refuels are a lot better than Mountain House. Even though the Mountain House yellow curry is still delicious. <laughs> 
tonight the menu is chicken teriyaki and rice for me chicken alfredo for Jay hot cocoa because that's what I do every night because I'm a child and that's about the story I'll probably show you the tent tomorrow back of this truck smells like ass yeah we got a lot of trash well we've been here for eight days now at this camp spot for four but camping near the truck is pretty cool. If you see, tent's right there. You gotta go where the bears are to kill the bears, and this is where the bears are. So we did one night way out in the back country. We got four days left, so we might find ourselves way back out there again. We'll see. But stay tuned. Now we eat, and most importantly, sleep. Chicken Alfredo, by far the best one we've tried, I think. What's that? The Chicken Alfredo is by far the best one we've had. Uh, cool. Beef stroganoff's close to Checking this one out tonight. So what they don't tell you about bear hunting is that here, in the north, it's only dark for about six hours, which means you only get about five hours of sleep every night. And we're on day eight, no, yeah, no, nine of hunting. <coughs> so it has been a grind. We're still going at it. Well, that's a wrap on this spot, it appears. We're gonna pack up camp and move on. We've been here for a solid six days. Seen a lot of bears, but nothing in the past 16 hours of glassing-ish. And we need some, uh, some new scenery, hopefully some new bears. So it's Wednesday, um, just to catch you up. Yesterday, we hunted in the morning and uh, didn't see a bear. Um, we've kind of worn out that spot, we think, and we started getting some pressure um, from other hunters. So we labeled the spot the Hail Mary spot. We went back to the room last night, got a good night's sleep, spent hours on the computer fighting this spot. Um, it's an old, old logging trail. There is no sign of anybody being on it in any recent time. Uh, it's about two and a half miles in and up from the truck. So we're committing. It's our last two days. We're going to the spot. We're hiking in. We're going to stay there for two days. And uh, that's where I'm going to get my bear. Yep, Hail Mary spot. Here we come. Deadfall, overgrown brush, two miles uphill, two and a half miles to do this. 
Alright, we are leaving the truck behind. We're packed pretty heavy because we're going up there for two and a half days and we know there's no water where we're going. So we're each packing two and a half days of water. So what's, we got a little over two gallons each? Two gallons each. I have exactly two gallons. Okay. Yeah, me too. So, uh, I got a little more. So that's 16 pounds of water just for water. Plus food, camp gear. We did cut some weight out. But this is the Hail Mary spot. Going up a couple miles in. Old logging road that's deadfalled over and brushed over that no one's been up. So hopefully this is where the bears are. Stay tuned. If you see a pissed off face in a little bit, it's because we got up there and it sucks. So we made it up. We uh, did. We actually made pretty good time, about three hours. Um, we got our glassing point. Um, we got to strategize, pre-range some stuff because it's a poke. Um, I'm probably not taking a shot over five or six hundred yards. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, there are points that are closer than that, so we're going to kind of scope those out. Um, and as soon as we got up here, it started raining. Yeah. We got the tent set up. We though. got the tent set up. And, and we're uh, in a precarious place. If you look here, Isaac has a beautiful, beautiful bed. Bed of elk shit. So, uh, all that being said, I've done some dumb shit in my life, but this is up there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, uh, we are back in here, and this is for bear. So, um, we're going out. We're going out swinging. Going out with a bang. So this is the Hail Mary. We'll see what happens. for today no bears yet the sun finally out for the first time it's been rainy crappy out there all we've seen today is white tails kind of see a white tail doe out here I saw that one and another buck but just white tails everywhere it's a little weird it's high up we're about 5500 feet 5200 feet Hopefully the bear showing up, the sun's out. Well, we've been sitting here all day. We finally got a bear. See him. There he is. Right there. Definitely a smaller bear. Looks probably like the size of the one I shot. We're finally starting to get an eye for the bear so we can tell 
big ones from the small ones but it's definitely not a cub and it's alone so it would be a shooter but it's just too far 825 is what we ranged him at it's possible he could come down and give us a shot but right now he's far but we'll keep you updated three spots three bears on the first day so we're doing something right we just need one more shot day and a half left Way up there. Of course, this bear's taunting us now. He's too far away to shoot. And he's one of the only bears we've seen stay still and stay in one place for this long. It'd be real sweet if he was about 400 yards closer. Don't think that's going to happen tonight, but we're going to be here at this spot until probably noon tomorrow. Getting down to the wire, and if we shoot one, we won't have enough time to get it out of here because it's gnarly terrain so that's the story right now we keep watching him keep watching down in front of us hopefully something shows but it's cool to see a bear while we're sitting around waiting for bears to come closer hopefully i'll tell you a little bit about our classic setups i'm using for binoculars these are maven C1 1042s. This is what I've spotted a majority of the bears with. I have a little dongle on the front that allows me to put it on the tripod, so it makes it really easy to hold still. And like that range from 500 to 1,000 yards, 10 pound binoculars are perfect for spotting bears because they stick out pretty well. But when it gets a little further, I'm rocking the Maven 15 to 45. You could buy a 65 CS1 spotting scope. All this footage is coming from uh, iPhone 11 with a phone scope. So I've taken a lot of footage with that in the past year. But that's my setup. Jay's setup is a lot different. He's rocking 18 power Vortexes. And he also has some 10 by 42 Vortex binoculars. These are the Razer UHD just got them. They're pretty sweet, but you can't hook the phone scope, my phone scope, at least up to them. I think you can get an adapter to run them, but these high power binoculars are pretty sweet. Those are glassing setups. Talk about Jay's gun a little bit. I didn't really get a chance to show my gun because I haven't been carrying it much. But Jay's gun, it's a Browning A Bolt Hell's Canyon edition, 6.8 Western. He has a Vortex Razor HD LHT 4 to 22 power, or 4.5 to 22 power. So he's got a heck of a setup. Easily capable of reaching out 600 yards. The 6.8 Western round is unbelievable when it comes to ballistics and bucking the wind and all that. So hopefully we get to see that used in the next couple days. But that's the setups. Now, get that baby way up there come a little closer that'd be great well shooting light is wrapping up on another day of hunting this time we're in back country 5200 feet is what onyx says way up here like on a ridge overlooking all this stuff we can glass but we just have the Kafaro assault tooth set up. Pretty simple, we packed in pretty light today. My bed, main bed, all our stuff. Got some chairs, fire. We started a fire earlier because we were soaking wet from the walk in. But that's it, that's camp. This is probably our last night in the backcountry. I think we're going to go back to where I shot my bear tomorrow. Stay here in the morning. Go there tomorrow. Because we can't shoot anything here and get it out in time. So we're going to go there tomorrow. Give it a last hurrah. Then head back for Ohio. It's been a crazy trip. Hopefully more to come. Stay tuned. Wow, what a... What a perfect way to put the finishing touches on this trip. I'm up here 
on top of these mountains we've been up in glassing for the past 10 days actually i think it's been 11 days we have one day left the rest of today and tomorrow morning finish up this spring bear hunt here in montana it's been absolutely awesome i got my bear on the first day not far from here actually jay got his opportunities he missed one almost got shot shot opportunities three more times at a real big bear I got everything on film, I'll be able to share everything. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's awesome to be able to get out here. And what a view right here. Jay's down glass in the camp, probably about 400 feet. Elevation drop below me. Go down there, glass for the morning. Head to a different spot for tonight, tomorrow morning. Then we'll be hitting the road. Uh, this place is just a little bit too rugged for us to stay here, so. We wouldn't have time to recover the bear, but it's beautiful. Maybe we'll get a shot this morning or this evening in that other spot. Keep an eye out for the video. Stay tuned. Looks yeah. like he's moving down fairly at a pretty good pace. And that's a bigger bear. Yes, got another bear. Shoot. So we've got our bear hanging out at 775 yards right now two big bull elk one looks like a trophy kind of like two or three hundred yards below him so that's pretty cool we're just hoping this bear moves closer luckily there's not much wind it's kind of running off so if we can get a further shot it should should work out We were just sitting here talking about the logistics of this place and uh, you know, we got a bear across the way, lost him in a tree line, but if we were to shoot him this evening, we wouldn't have enough time to get across the ridge line, find him and pack him out. So ethically, this is the right decision. We're gonna move to a place we know we have the time to do that, which is where Isaac shot his bear. So, um, we're pulling camp. We haven't seen him in over an hour. Uh, he's probably bedded down, but um, it's getting too late. We're running out of time. And uh, off we go. Next stop, last stop. All right, we got camp in the bags. Another backcountry camp packed up. We're walking out it's a couple miles, two and a half ish. Mostly downhill, lots of deadfall, but shouldn't be too hard. And uh, that's a story. We'll see you at the bottom. All right, this is it. This is the end. Last evening of sitting. We're going to do it. Put my lucky hat on. Get my go fast shoes in them. These are gonna work real great over all that pitfall. I've got my resting bitch face. <laughs> Been some hard, hard hunting over the past two weeks. So, see how it goes. minutes of daylight last day tomorrow we start the long journey home we're hoping for a Hail Mary here still but it's been an awesome trip the weather actually turned out pretty awesome tonight our bear could show up right down there it'd be fantastic <laughs> <laughs> 